at you and how you started getting the assists and making the plays on defense? Um, they threw a great defense out. So, uh, they had someone following me around the whole court. And then when I got it at the top, it was always two defenders. I don't know if it was a box of one or anything, but he was, he was letting me catch the ball, but there were always been two defenders in my presence. So uh, with me having, like, you know what I'm saying, more of the defense on me, I tried to find my teammates a little more. And they, they came through for me, as you can see, when the state championship. So what exactly is your range then? We hit that three-pointer. So like I said, logo. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, I said I got deep range. Like I said uh, earlier, I didn't have a good offensive game, but still, like, just getting my teammates involved was a great feeling. But like, like I said, um, I, I, got, I got range, so. Like you think Gizzo's going to let you shoot from the oh, logo? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking, speaking of Gizzo, to be able to play that game, you know, the last game of high school career, is the place you're going to start your collegiate career. Have you processed how special that really is? Um, I haven't got to process it yet. Uh, I'm still trying to process this feeling of winning state championship. But like I said, it was a it was a great experience to play for my home floor on my home floor, and I'm pretty sure they were watching on TV. So um, it was just a great feeling all around to uh, be with my teammates in my last game, and also playing my home, on my next home floor. What does it say about your game that you can be a facilitator? You don't have to just be a scorer. You can do pretty much anything your teammates are doing. Um, I would say that the pandemic really helped me. Um, over the summer, or when basketball got shut, uh, shut down for a little while, uh, we would always go to the gym and just work on passing and getting my facilitating better because I, I could always score. But just taking that next uh, next step, just to be a, a great all-around player, just finding my teammates and facilitating, it's, a, it's a, um, a great great skill to have and a great asset to have, and it showed today. So you guys had your uh, chance at a state championship taken away from you last year because of COVID. Yes, sir. You're coming to this year not even knowing if you're going to play a month before the season because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And then you get to come here, win the state championship on your next home court with your dad. You know, is this the best day of your life? Yeah, this is probably the best day of my life uh, <laughs> besides going to Cedar Point. <laughs> yeah, it's your best day of my life. Uh, winning the championship with my dad, just knowing all the things that he's been through. He's, my dad has never won a regional championship. He hasn't been past the regional championship. So to get past the regional championship and win the state championship, our first time coming down here, and I think it's the first time in our school history that we've won one, um, it's a great feeling to have. So Cedar Point really compares to this? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. A chase down block, I mean, were you pretty confident you'd get up to him and catch him? Um. The chase down block, uh, like he said, it's something I, I do on the regular um, in open runs or AAU um, when, when teams have a breakaway layup in, in, in school season. It doesn't matter. Uh, whenever I see someone <laughs> just trailing back, uh, getting about to get a layup, I try my best, to, try my best effort to go and get it. And especially at this point in time where we were in the state championship, it's. it's uh, the will to win, so just getting that block off the glass is a really big success. And the player you did block is great. Time. Was number twenty-five for them. What was it like trying to defend that game? Because it's game. Yeah, we uh, we had to we had to go two three because a man he was going he's uh, getting to his mid range, getting to his spots. And man, uh, the elbow shot is like a layup for him. Um, we, we, we threw a lot at him, and he was still coming at us. But I think that 2-3, he still got some shots off in the 2-3, but his fat, his fast break game is real nice. He was able to stop on the dime and get his shots up off quick. But I think the 2-3 really contained their whole offense when we uh, switched to that defense. So you mentioned that you and your dad used to butt heads when you were first starting high school. Can you just talk about you know what exactly that was and how your relationship developed and became more um, workable? Yeah, so my ninth grade season, uh, my, my teammates, they didn't really like the idea of a freshman coming in, being the best player. So uh, my dad, we really butted heads because we were always having conversations with my teammates or me just getting kicked out of practice for certain things, like just talking back, stuff like that. Uh, just having a, an ego when I haven't even, haven't even set myself for uh, a reputation yet. So just, it's been a, a great experience, especially um, my 10th grade year, we uh, we did a little better, but we lost in the regional quarters. Um, I still had a little bit of issues with like teammates and stuff, but uh, my junior year is when we really started to jail because we had uh, Donovan Peoples and Xavion. So I can rely on those two guys and the rest of the team to, uh, you know what I'm saying, pick up the slack a little bit. And also like just have a great, great coach, like just coaching all three of us. And my senior year, just 
just like I said, improving my all-around game. I knew that uh, coming in at Zane Don, they were seniors. So my senior year, I just had to really step up my game, and step up my facilitation, just getting these guys involved, getting them to be the best players they can be. And uh, we here now, we just went for state. So, so how, would you describe, how would you describe your relationship with him now then? Uh, <laughs> after, I just want to stay steppy. It's, it's, it's amazing now. Man. Uh, <laughs> It's, 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 it's really, I'm, I'm about to get emotional, man, but just having, like, just having, just winning the state championship for your dad and having a great bond and relationship with him is, is the best feeling you can have as a son. And him, and knowing that he's going to be there for you every step of the way uh, throughout your whole life is just a great feeling.